Although this choking technique has existed within judo for a long time, these days it's commonly referred to as Kanto choke. Flavio Kanto began judo in 1989. Five years later he won the national championships of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Brazil. And in 2004 he won bronze at the Athens Olympics in judo. The Kanto choke involves gripping your opponent's judo gi at the collar placing your leg over their head, preferably with your hips close to their neck, and pulling them towards you with your other hand. The other leg typically moves in between your opponent's legs to stop them being able to circle around to kamishiho gatame or north-south position and escape the choke. This technique is commonly countered by posturing up and pushing away. By placing your leg across your opponent's neck and then hooking under their far leg, you're basically anchoring their head in place and it makes it impossible for them to posture. This technique can also be done against an opponent attempting an over-under guard pass. Sometimes opponents will try to sit into turtle and fall backwards to try and escape the choke. But if you have the leg hook in place, they will simply pull you on top of their body and the choke will continue. This choke can also be applied against a turtled opponent and the mechanics are the same. It's basically a kuriere jime with your hips directly above their head. The opponent trapped Van Snick's leg and pushed her into a half guard situation. So Van Snick took her thigh over the top of her opponent's head and then brought her hips directly over the head and she used her foot to drive off the tatami to help give her power and pulled up on the collar hand. You can see the collar hand there is still in place. This technique can be countered by controlling the sleeve and rotating your head out of the choke as we see here by Tsukasa Yoshida. She grabs the sleeve, rotates around, and as she frees her head, she breaks the grip. She doesn't break the grip until her head is free of the choke. Another similar variation is referred to as Sankaku Jime, or triangle choke in Japan. In this case, you attack the turtle player, and rather than placing your hips directly above the head, you place your hip and leg behind one arm and drive that arm across the opponent's body while pulling with the hand on the collar to create a powerful choke. Typically when this is applied, people submit very quickly. An eagle-eyed viewer pointed out to me that there was a bit of wrist lock pressure in that one. If you watch it again, you can see her wrist is trapped between her chest and their leg drives onto it. So here's Maeda Chishima, Taiyo Toshi, and then switching into this Sankaku Jime. Now here's how to counter the counter. So great sequence here. Uchimata, Obitori Gaishi, now moving for Sankaku Jime, but her opponents blocked her leg, so she can't drive in and finish the choke as usual, and she's also got sleeve control. So instead she switches to a pinning technique. If you watch it again, you'll notice she places her arm right across the body and gets a good strong grip, and then she releases the hand that was on the collar. The Brazilian's attention was completely fixated on dressing the collar grip as it is still right under the neck. You can also do that in reverse. You can go from the turnover attempt to the Sankaku Jime. But here, the player blocks the turnover by holding onto the leg. So that opens up space for the hand to go in and grab the collar. Now she's looking for that Sankaku Jime technique. This time the opponent is able to turn the right leg, she's got her hand controlling the right leg and she's not able to apply choking pressure in the way she likes it. So she keeps the grip on the collar and then she's going to pop up, she's going to 
try and dive to get into a bow and arrow shot. This one doesn't work out perfectly, so she resets and jumps again. You can see her enter into a classical bow and arrow choke. Now we'll look at Haruka Funakubo's hip pin over underpass counter. So Phil's Moso, we saw her apply Kanto choke earlier. She goes for the Kanto choke in a scramble, but Funakubo uses this grip of the bottom of the lapel, pulling it down. That grip keeps Phil's Moso's hips low. One of the reasons Kanto was so successful with this choke was his ability with arm bars. Because he was so dangerous attacking the arm, opponents would try to hide their arms from him. And this would enable him to get the grip of the collar and pull his opponents forward and enter into Kanto choke. One good way of stopping this choke is by controlling your opponent's sleeves. If you have a sleeve control, you can use it to stop your opponent from grabbing your collar, making the choke impossible. Next video will feature lots of arm attacks and a couple of chokes. It'll be up on Thursday. Subscribe for more non-stop Noaza.